it was, it's very classical really. Uh, so my mum, um, her, <laughs> her parents kind of had the aspirations for her to be a, a classical pianist. So she went to the Royal College of Music. But actually she ended up following a completely different dream. Uh, however, she was obviously trained pianist. So we had a piano in our house and she taught me from when I can remember really. Um, so I did grades and everything all through school and also in guitar. Um, so it was a very classical background, but also it was a lot of um, singing and, you know, rock music and singing along to Carol King and, and artists like that, that my parents liked in the car. I went to university, I studied uh, composition and wrote for orchestra. And during those sort of years, I was maybe feeling a little bit more like I was going to go into kind of um, film scoring. But uh, then I started uh, writing my own songs. Well, in, in actual fact, I was writing songs from when I was about 12 and I just, it was just an obsessive hobby, really writing songs. And so um, when I graduated, I sort of put the songs together and a friend helped me record an album and uh, managed to start selling it, getting gigs. So then I got enough money to record the next album. And then it's just sort of carried on like that, really, um, recording albums all, all the time. Big, big train came along in the middle of the pandemic, um, back when we didn't really know what was happening and um, they had just lost uh, three members and uh, Rob Aubrey, their live sound engineer and studio sound engineer, worked with me ages ago and he kind of, they, they knew they wanted, they needed a keyboard player and they hoped to have one who could sing and also one that could um, do some bits of guitar and he just remembered me so he was in touch and they asked me to do um, a video audition because obviously we couldn't meet um, so I did a video of I did the Florentine um, the solo in the middle there uh, and I did the uh, introduction of um, East Coast Racer and I did a bit of organ um, and uh, sent the videos off and then they got back in touch and they were really happy with it all and wanted to invite me into the project and at that point it was just to do um, the three shows that were in July that year and then that got cancelled and then it was for the videos and then that got cancelled because Ricard couldn't travel in from Sweden um, so now it's preparing for the, the big tour um, which is I don't know, I think I would quite have liked to have done something smaller with them first, but I have now met them several times and I'm playing on the album, um, so I know how they work and, and I know that it's a match kind of musically and also personally, we get, we get on really well. <laughs> Not a great deal of experience. The band that I worked with um, before Big Big Train was a Brazilian progressive rock band called Os Mutantes. Um, so I had quite a big taste of, of prog rock with them. They're kind of prog rock slash psychedelic rock. Um, they're a band from the 60s um, who, for some reason or other, I ended up working with um, and did um, a world tour with and they're, they're fantastic, very interesting musically. So I've had had them as an experience. I was mostly on 12 string guitar for them actually. And then I've also worked with um, this guy called Janique Top when I lived in Paris. So before I moved back to the UK, I was living in Paris with my partner and I had a, a small um, record deal at, at some point there kind of around 2016, and Janique Top, who is from the um, French progressive rock band Magma, um, and, uh, and the drummer, I've forgotten his name now, but uh, it's probably terrible, Christian Vander, I think, yeah. So there was a bit of a kind of foray into progressive rock with them as they were kind of reworking and, and producing some of my more sort of folky uh, rock songs, and they became a bit more progressive, but that, ended up getting shelved. So, you know, I've had little forays into the genre. 
To be honest, I'm loving it. I feel like I've I've arrived um, home musically because it it combines all the parts of me. So obviously, I have this massive classical background, and uh, there's so much classical music inside um, what Big Big Train do. So I, I get you know that these parts I'm learning, like some of Danny's piano parts, they're they're big classical piano pieces, and it's brilliant to learn. I'm having time in my life learning them. Um, but then there's also this craziness to it, and uh, you know I, I'm I'm a bit like that, so I, I'm feeling at home with it. I'm really happy. It feels like a sort of crash course in in prog rock uh, keyboards that I've been through. Uh, learning the songs because Rob Aubrey sends them to me in stems so I can hear each part separately and really kind of get my ears around it and then yeah so I've got this big Nord that I'm just constantly tweaking the sounds and then listening back and is, is that is that a match and most songs you know I've got layers of six or seven things going on at the same time and, and this part of the keyboard's going to suddenly turn into a mellotron whilst this part is um, you know going to be a, a quick organ lead and then piano in the middle and, and it's just yeah it's it's keeping my brain really active <laughs> So the majority of my performance, I've been, um, you know, the front woman. I've, I've, I've done a lot of that, uh, lead singing um, and, and playing keyboards, um, pianos. So whenever I'm in a project where I'm not the lead singer, uh, it's really, it's fascinating actually, because you have to work quite a bit harder <laughs> um, to make sure that the communication is constantly going. Um, you can't ever let it go. Um, I. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know how to describe what I'm like on stage because I've never seen myself on stage. But I hope that what I can portray is um, a, a new energy for every performance and, you know, a, a genuine sense of um, gratitude that I get to do this as a job. You know, I, I recognise how lucky I am that I happened to grow up in a family that had a bloody piano teacher in it, you know, <laughs> as a mum. So then that leads on to, to work when you're older. And, and it's, you know, it's, whilst it's um, a challenging job, as jobs go, being a musician is, you know, it's up there, isn't it? It's fun. So I, yeah, hope I convey that I'm humbled <laughs> when I perform, maybe. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a choir leader. Um, so I started a choir for the community I live in. It's a choir that's open to anybody. There's no auditions. And uh, most of the people who come think that they can't sing. And I'm really passionate about singing and that everybody can sing. Um, I truly believe that. I think it's, it's innate and it's within us. And I think that something sad happens when we're younger that a lot of us get told you can't sing. Um, and it's wrong. We should we should absolutely stop this t uh, terrible uh, mentality of kind of telling young people that they can't sing because we all have a voice. And I think that most of us, um, once we start singing in a group, feel something um, outside of this world that uh, connects us to one another. So I don't know. I could talk about this for hours on end. It's it's something I love. So yeah, I come into this church, and before I've had you know 500 singers in this exact space uh, performing out here and it's it's lovely so yeah we're a, a community choir that's big and full of heart it's a lot to to manage on a weekly basis and and we meet in different locations in the romney marsh where we are right now as we're filming um so it's it's sort of a, a full-time um commitment uh, and something I love, um, have a, a great relationship with all the different people. And it's nice to, you know, before I moved here, I lived in a city and I didn't really know my neighbours that well. Um, now you walk along the street and you know, you know, most people you pass on the street are in the choir. 
Um, so it's it's lovely. Um, so musically, that is kind of all I have time for. I am writing an album, another album. So this will be my sixth studio album. Um, I'm about halfway through it at the moment. And since being in Big Big Train, and I don't know, it has taken a bit of a progressive turn. <laughs> so um, I'll, yeah, I'll see what happens with that. And it's finding the time to do it as well, because obviously there's choir and Big Big Train takes up a big, big amount of your life. Um, it's great fun. All the children that she never met